In this video, we are towing something very old with something very new. So this is our 1915 Ford Model T. And in this video, I need to bring this car down to Model T Expert to learn a little bit more about what we bought. And in order to get it there, because it kind of sort of runs right now, we're going to use the new Chevrolet Silverado EV. And this is a real world test of a towing application because I need to tow that car about an hour that way using electricity alone. And we're going to find out if it can do it. But first, we need to get this old Ford onto the trailer, which means first we have to get it running, which is not as easy as you might think. Oh, stop. Oh. Wow, this thing runs great, Dad. Super quiet. You're gonna spend a lot of time trying to start it. I'd wait till we get to the expert and then have him diagnose it after you start it, if you think that might be doable. Okay, if you think that's better. So we're gonna do a little bit of MacGyvering here. Obviously, this is a tilt trailer, and for a tilt trailer to work, you gotta get some power and get the thing to go up a big, pretty steep hill. This way, we just roll the Model T with Tommy driving it down onto the trailer. That's right, Dad. I think that was a good idea. We'll yeah. see if we can get it. Yeah, it's a steep hill, so I hope we have the brakes to stop it. Well, it has brakes, right? Sort of. There you go. There you go. You're good. A little more. Okay, good. We're going. We got movement. We got brakes. Oh, yeah. I want to ram this in the back of the Silverado. Want to get up front, Dad, and tell me how it's looking? Yeah. You're perfect. You got it. Keep going. Absolutely perfect. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, you're just stay, just stay, keep the wheel on this line. Now uh, we got, I don't know how much that engine weighs, but I'm sure it's not a lot. Do the other one. Ready? It's loud. Okay. You ready? Two hands, two. <laughs> <Ooga>! <laughs> All right, well let's uh, let's tie down uh, and get road. and hit the road and get to the expert. I don't think I'm gonna go to the expert with you. I'll leave that to you. Are okay, you okay yeah. with that? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, I think uh, I think I got other videos to film. So we started our little towing adventure today with 83% state of charge and that is after my dad drove 100 miles up to an off-road trail and back. So he used less than 17% to go on the off-road trip. Now I, I know electric trucks, I've driven a bunch of them and I think we're going to use a lot of power going to Denver and back. So I think that um, we're going to be at 40% by the time we get back to the office. So 83 to 40%. What about you dad? Um, I think this truck is a game changer. I think you could plug this in at home, charge it up, and then drive it for two weeks without having to recharge it again. It's what the Hummer EV basically should have been. And I'm betting that when you get back to the ranch, Tommy, you won't even be down to 50%, even towing to Denver and back. I'm just amazed. I've been driving this around the whole week, and uh, never have I felt like I'm getting anywhere close to even reaching, you know, half the battery, let alone below half. It's just, it's a game changer. with the new Silverado EV. I'm very excited and fortunate that GM chose us to be kind of the first outlet to have an independent test of this truck. And you know, I've towed fairly extensively with the Lightning and the Rivian. And my one takeaway with those trucks is they have tons of power, lots of stability, but it does get pretty nerve wracking watching that range number decrease at the rate at which it does. Now, really my first time behind the wheel of the Silverado EV is towing this Model T. And it's astonishing. I mean, we've gone 20 some miles and the little range indicator has barely moved. It's like we're at 75% state of charge and we started at 83. It's amazing in its own right. Now the rest of the truck is not quite as impressive. So this interior, the vinyl floors, the vinyl seats, the screen is nice, but it's just a sea of black and this doesn't feel like a $79,000 interior. But what you're paying for is the sheer size of the battery, which is over 200 kilowatt hours, over two Tesla batteries in one vehicle. And I have to say, Nicole and her team did a really good job 
tailoring this truck to a lot of different truck needs. So this is by far the best towing truck I've ever experienced. And one great example of that is the regenerative braking. So I came here to a stoplight, slowed down completely using regen, let my foot off the accelerator, and the rate at which this truck slows down, granted it was only about 5,000 pounds behind us, is amazing. The acceleration profile is incredible too. You know, I've not come close to maybe even hitting the third throttle and still able to keep up with traffic here because we do have over 500 horsepower and 600 pound feet of torque. And then the big deal for me is living up here in Colorado at 6,000 feet where a gasoline engine would be down 15 plus percent of power, the EV actually gets quicker because of the thinner air density. So it really levels the playing field against a lot of the internal combustion engines. And then the last takeaway I have just initially from this first drive towing is the stability is immense. You know, I don't know what the curb weight is on this truck. I suspect it's over 8,000 pounds if I had to take a stab in the dark, which is a ton of weight. But kind of the, the lack of movement coming from the rear end when I make a turn with this trailer is incredible. It, it almost feels like there is no load behind us whatsoever from a stability left and right standpoint, also from a yaw standpoint. There's just no movement. And this is no weight distributing hitch. This is just a standard... Uh, standard ball back there and the thing is just amazing the stability and the confidence that this is inspiring visibility is not great the, the the hood height is extremely high and there's a very steep fall off at the front of the hood similar complaint to have with other gasoline silverados but like this guy right he's driving along burning hydrocarbons and you know the argument could be made at least it could have before the Silverado EV that that guy could have towed this trailer not thinking about range whatsoever fill up at a gas station this is not a long haul towing trip. We're probably gonna put 40, 50 miles on this truck, which is pretty difficult to how I tow. It's usually just cars to and from shops and events and that kind of thing. But I'm not even, I mean, you just completely forget that the range counter is there. It's the first vehicle I've ever driven, EV, especially while towing, where I haven't thought about range a single time. And I think that is it's very, very significant. Right, well, we met with the Model T expert who didn't want to be on camera, which fair enough, but he was a really nice guy and helped me out with a bunch of questions I had. And now I feel like I have more knowledge about our Model T and what we can do to fix it. Sounds like the overheating issue, well, the first thing we did was we tightened up the fan belt because it was way too loose and not allowing the fan to spin at the right speed. And also not allowing the water pump to spin at the right speed. And um, almost broke my arm trying to get the car running, but we did get it going. So now we're back in Boulder and we've driven a total, if you take a look here at the trip, 63 miles towing and on this charge so far, towing and not towing, my dad's put on another 100, so at 166.9 towing, you know, we're averaging 1.4 miles per kilowatt hour. So you might say 63 miles towing, not very far. I would agree with that, right? I didn't say this was going to be a cross country trip, but it is realistic to how I would tow with an electric truck to the ranch, to Denver, back to the ranch, for example. And if you can look at the screen here, coal, it's gonna be hard to see, but we're still in between 50 and 75% state of charge, even at 64 miles of towing. I mean, the range in this truck is pretty, pretty incredible. And um, another thing which I think is interesting is the route that Chevrolet took in regards to the flashiness behind the Silverado EV. So when you look at a Cybertruck, for example, it's very clear that that is something unique going on. Very angular, very futuristic, apocalyptic maybe even, screams electric cars. And that, you know, that was a trend for a long time is that folks wanted their EVs to look like EVs. But now we're kind of entering a new dimension of electric vehicles and the Silverado EV turns no heads. You know, if you're looking for a vehicle to grab attention with, the Silverado EV is not it, get a Rivian. Don't get a, a lightning either because it's also very subtle. But overall, very impressed with the truck. You know, I'm very impressed with the battery and the powertrain from a towing standpoint and a drivability standpoint. I like the design, I like the front trunk. Not a big fan of the interior. I know this is a work truck, but we're looking at an $80,000 work truck, so I'd expect it to be a little nicer. At least, you know, I'm fine with having vinyl floors. I actually prefer vinyl floors, but give me some contrast on the inside. You know, maybe some splash of color or a splash of silver accent thing. It's just a little too dark and dreary. And I don't necessarily want to pay 100000 for a higher trim or an RST or something of the like. 
but the, even still as a work truck, you got this large display with Google connectivity, works great, very easy to use. Dual zone automatic climate control, they absolutely nailed that. Um, I mean, lots of good things. We have cruise control, unlike Andre's uh, Colorado. That's a really good thing. And, uh, you know, from a comfort standpoint, it is a very comfortable truck, independent of your suspension. Um, pretty okay seats, don't have heated seats, don't have a heated steering wheel. Oh, one other thing I really like is the lack of a on and off button. So you just, you know, put the truck in park, hop out, truck turns itself off like a Tesla does. Why we need on and off buttons in these EVs has always been befuddling to me, but uh, it works actually works pretty well. I didn't like it at first, was a little confused at it by first, but uh, now that we're, uh, we've are we been driving around a little bit, it makes sense. So I'm going to pull over here. Um, we're going to check the trailer wiring before I finish up at the ranch, and we'll see what our uh, range number is. We're down to 201 miles of predicted range after doing some tow in here. And if I take a look at the truck, here, I'll turn it off, open the door. I wish they would also display battery percentage more easily. Come on. I just complimented you about your ability to turn yourself on and off. And now you're not turning off. There we go, 62%! So we drove over 60 miles of towing and we're still at 62%. We started at 83. Not bad at all. That was uh, close to an hour and a half of driving, by the way, so I'd be ready for a break now anyways. Well, it's the end of the day. We made it back up to the ranch, just dropped off the Model T and picked up filets. And look at him, he's happy as can be. And if you look through there, Dad, you can see we still have 52%, 52. And let me boot up the truck and we'll see exactly how far we towed. So dad, I have to say, let me grab the mic so they can hear you. I have to say you were right on about your range prediction. Yeah, this truck is a game changer. Like I said, Tommy, it's pretty incredible that you can tow, you can run errands, you can go on the highway for a week and still have half the battery left on a Thursday after using it the whole week. All right, so energy, let's do trip info. Trip information, so we towed a total of 95.2 miles, averaging 1.4 miles per kilowatt hour, and we're still at 52% state of charge. So 100 miles we used, well, 20% of the battery, that's amazing. Yeah, I agree. Uh, um, you know, if uh, this truck were just a little bit cheaper, I'd be really tempted, but $80,000, you get a lot of battery, but you pay for it. Blaze is pretty hot back there. Blaze, are you hot? What does he have to say? He has to say, I want to go chase rabbits. That's what he has to say. Well, guys, check out alltfl.com where we got a lot more videos with this new Silverado EV. And thanks for watching this towing video. We'll see you next time. Ciao. And time, you got to admit, we towed the oldest Ford with the newest Chevy. It's pretty cool. It's, it's like pretty cool. Cats and dogs living together. It's a weird world. <laughs> Ciao, guys. Bye.